All right, this is Ready Classroom Mathematics, fourth grade. Understand multiplication as a comparison. We're in lesson six, and these first two pages on page 107 and 108, those are for students and families to go over together to learn more about this, um, this unit. Students, go ahead and get your math book and in your math book, you're going to turn to page 109. You are, if I write it, you are going to write it. So everything I write, you will write down. All right, on page 109, it says, complete the problems below. You can think about multiplication as joining equal groups. So draw three groups of five stars. So they've already given us our three different groups here. You might remember this from third grade where we did equal groupings. And each one of these, we're gonna draw five stars. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now it says write a multiplication equation to find the total number of stars. 3 times 5 equals 15. You can also think about multiplication as a way to compare two numbers. Draw a group of five stars in the box on the left. Draw three times as many stars in the boxes on the right. So right here, we're going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to draw 5 in each of these. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five. And notice how this last one, it looks kind of like an array. Array was something that you learned a lot about and talked a lot about in third grade. And that's where we have three rows and we have five stars in each row. So now down here at the bottom, it says use the model to complete the sentence and the multiplication equation. So five, or I'm sorry, 15 is three times as many as five because we have 15 stars here and it's three times as many as five stars. So 15 equals three times five. All right, go ahead and turn to page 110. On page 110, we have our model it. Let me zoom in a little. Okay. When you multiply, the order of the factors does not matter. So what this is saying is it's talking about the uh, commutative property of multiplication. It's saying that whether you do three times five equals 15 or five times three equals 15, it doesn't matter because either way, you're still gonna get 15. So you can switch those, which is the commutative property of multiplication. Draw a group of three stars in the first box. Draw five times as many stars in the boxes to the right. So we'll do our three stars and now we'll do three stars in each of these. If I'm ever going too fast for you, feel free to pause the video and catch up because I want to make sure that you're getting all of this. But sometimes these videos can get long if I go at normal speed, so I go a little bit faster. Use the model to complete the sentence and multiplication equation. 15 is five times as many as three because we have 15 total here, five times as many as three. So again, 15 is five times three. You can also use multiplicative comparisons as connected bars in a model. Complete the descriptions and equations for each model. So right here, five stars, <coughs> And then we have three, you can see right here. 
So it's three times as many. Then it's 15 is three times as many as five. So 15 is three times five. Again, now this one is three stars. So we did it five times, one, two, three, four, five. 15 is five times as many as three. So 15 equals five times three. Down at the bottom, it says, explain how finding three times as many as five is different from finding three more than five. Well, to find three times as many as five, you multiply five by three. To find three more than five, you add three to five. So this one would give you a total of eight, whereas this other one would give you a total of 15. So that is how they are different. All right, students, we're gonna go ahead and go over to page 111 now. And this is our green pages, so page 111. Here we are going to make a graphic organizer about multiplication. It's all the things that we know. So our first question here is, what is it? Well, it's an operation. And it's an operation that I use to find the total number of items in an equal in, I'm sorry, just in equal sized groups. A key word in here is equal. You have to make sure that your groups are equal or multiplication is not going to work. So what do I know about it? I know that I can multiply two numbers together in either order and get the same result. Okay? So let's take a let's create an example here. So we can make four circles here and I'm going to put three stars in each circle. I have to make sure that I have three in each, and my multiplication fact will be four times three equals 12. Or another way I can do this is I can have two circles. So this is worth two. And then I can do it five times as many so I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna draw five times as many. <coughs> and this is going to give me two times five equals 10. And my last example is going to be 
30 is 5 times as many as 6. So 30 equals 5 times 6. And those are my examples. Number 2 down here. It says draw 5 groups of 4 squares, <laughs> write a multiplication equation, to find the total number of squares. So first I'm going to make my five groups. One, two, three, four, five. So that's my five groups. Now I need four squares in each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So my multiplication fact here is going to be 5, because we have 5 groups, times 4 in each group, which would equal 20 squares. So there are 20 squares in this problem. Okay, go ahead and turn to page 112. All right, at the top of page 112, it says draw a group of two circles in the first box. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Draw six times as many circles in the boxes to the right. Okay, so we're gonna draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. Use the model to complete the sentence and multiplication equation. So 12 is 6 times as many as 2. So 12 equals 6 times 2. Now our next one here. Complete the description and equation for each model. First we have four circles and we're doing it one, two, three times, so it's three times as many. And then the total number here, so we can count the circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 is three times as many as four. And then we are just rewriting it down here. 12 equals three times four. Go ahead and try this last one on your own. And when you're finished, you can have your parent um, check it for you. And then down here it says, how are the multiplication equations you wrote in problem four alike? Because there's a 4a and a 4b. So how are these two the same? And go ahead and answer that. That is all for this session.